we really care about being perfect on this channel no we don't no we don't okay so i want to start with the pantry i look crazy because i just got a peanut butter full date so you see that get it girl Alrighty, guys so here is the first peek got myself some flowers driving around in california hey guys welcome back to the youtube channel sorry i know you can hear that the humidifier in the background we're still we're still working on things but i am going to attempt to organize my kitchen because as you can see it's disgusting do we really care about being perfect on this channel no we don't i'm going to attempt to clean and organize my kitchen i'm going for organization more so today and my dishwasher rack has fell because it truly just likes to disappoint me but that's not the point i am determined to be a minimalist i'm not playing i'm not playing truth be told i feel like ass booty right now i just feel so crappy but hopefully a little organization will get me you know will bring the vibes and excuse my head wrap it's not looking too great but that's okay because i slapped it on my head and I really just don't care. So let's get to minimalizing. Is that a word? Let's go. Okay, so I want to start with the pantry. As you can see, it's pretty organized other than my kids putting away groceries and doing this yesterday. Yo, yo my kids put the freaking veganaise in the pantry why do kids i have a shelf that's in my back room that's not being used right now that i want to kind of take apart and see if i can fit it at the bottom because the goal for me is to things that i use a lot of like coconut milk mustards um jalapenos drug seasoning of course i want to go and buy multiples of those and just kind of get them on the shelf and get myself a little organized you know what i'm saying that's the plan i'm gonna start by bringing a shelf out here first and then i'm gonna take it apart i'm not gonna do that on camera if i can make it work then i will show you guys that there you go welcome back to the youtube channel it is wednesday morning i look crazy because i just got up <laughs> but that's okay i still got the morning you know i don't know what to call it but i got the morning thing going on but i'm in the kitchen right now it's about 6 45 i'm making a latte which i normally don't make i'm not really into lattes but i worked at starbucks for many years and for a long time starbucks didn't have non-dairy milks so i think that was the issue well i used to do soy milk not in a latte like <laughs> So I think now that I have the options for almond milk and cashew milk, hemp milk, I kind of like them. So I'll show you guys what I got going on. Also, I want to show you all the things that I did yesterday because I did a whole lot and I didn't film it because, y'all, I felt like butt doo-doo yesterday. But I got it done and told you I was going to organize the pantry. I did do that. So I'm going to show you guys what I got going on in here. So give me one second. Trusty little glass to get me some espresso shots. So these are the capsules that I use. I don't know if you guys can see that, but they're the regular Nespresso capsules. I'm going to use the maple syrup. I made some peanut butter full dates. They don't look that appetizing because I froze them. But some of them have peanut butter and cacao. And then if you look right there, some of them have coconut um, on top. I also canned some salsa 
So I made some salsa from scratch. And I have a video on my channel that shows how I make the salsa, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't you focus over here? Try it. See? It's just, it, it doesn't want to do it. But <clears throat> I was able to get nine. I also have been working on this sourdough starter. I think I showed you guys this in my last video. It is very stinky, but I'm super excited because in a few days can see it like it looks pretty disgusting um in a few days i'll be able to make <coughs> fresh sourdough bread oh that stinks let me also show you the pantry so this is what i did to the pantry it doesn't look too much different i just moved the flour up to the shelf just kind of organized these bins i have my bins down here for like snacks and such I have my container for onions. I still have my baskets. But then this is the newest addition. This is this little shelf. And this is for, this is going to be for backup food. And I also made, <clears throat> I attempted to make rice crispy treats. That was a fail. I made sorrel. I don't know if you guys know what sorrel is, but it's typically a Caribbean drink. I didn't sweeten it, however, because what I'm going to do is when I want some, I'm going to drink a little bit every day. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of maple syrup in there. Sorrel is, it's high in vitamin C. If I'm not mistaken, my grandmother said it cleans your blood, but <laughs> I'm not sure how true that is. It's good to regulate blood sugars. Also made some ginger shots, boo. So I'm super excited to have that. This has ginger, coconut water, lemon turmeric cayenne so we're gonna have that a shot of that every morning all right guys so i'm about to take this shot finally it it was a whole fiasco i got a phone call my battery is also about to die so let me do this real quick oh shit oh Woo. so i'm gonna get out of here and charge my camera battery and i will see you guys in a little bit deuces shut up get with it have a good day dance a little bit sing you know i'll see you guys in a little bit good morning guys welcome back to the youtube channel it is thursday so technically it's the pre-sabbath prep day which is still a sabbath prep day normally on thursdays i do my cleaning but I don't know if you guys can tell, I look super exhausted because I am. I'm actually manic right now. I say hypomanic because I rarely go into a state of full mania. But when I'm manic, I don't sleep. So I have missed sleeping a lot and I have been doing a lot because I can't sit still <laughs> which listen I don't mind being hypomanic I get a lot of stuff done but it gets to a point where I can get aggravated because it gets to a point where it's just like I'm tired it's been like this for a few days now I'm overworking myself and then I start to get a little bit impatient so that's kind of what's going on right now and I'm on my lady time. It's not helping. But it's all good. It is all good. Because the Most High does not put things on us that we cannot deal with. Right? So even though we're under the curses, we're still the chosen people. So the Most High knows what you can handle. And knows that if you have the right mindset in the truth, you're following the law, statutes, and commandments that you understand that the Most High is your Heavenly Father. And what he, sa he says goes, sis, you can make it through. So that's what we're going to do. <laughs> but the reason why I turned on this camera is because um, I'm going to do a little self-care. My plan is to, I need to shave this mustache because it's not cool. I know I shouldn't shave it. I know. I know, but I've been doing it for years, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I am 
against waxing because I've done it before and it did not turn it well it turned out well but my top lip was uh, for like a week we're not doing that I will do it for the tribe if y'all ask me to just because it might be super funny but I also need to do these eyebrows and I'm gonna rub an ice cube on my face to see if I can get some of this tiredness off because I'm about to film a YouTube short that I really don't want to do right now but listen this is my job y'all so sometimes you don't want to film a YouTube short but you do it because you love you you love your subscribers and you want to do things to make them happy so hopefully when you guys see the short you'll be happy but let's go ahead and take care of this face so i'm gonna shave my mustache first give me a second i'll be right wash back. my hands first because you never want to touch your face with dirty hands you yeah, know so let's do the mustache first so coconut oil of course and then I got my little razor so I'm gonna dip my finger in the coconut oil and I'm just gonna rub it along wherever I'm going to shave why does coconut oil seem like McDonald's fries <laughs> And be careful with the coconut oil because it does a really good job. But if you're not paying attention, you will cut yourself. I normally use apple cider vinegar. See? clean as a baby's bottom. I normally use apple cider vinegar, but I don't feel like going downstairs right now. So that's that. So I have my little trusty, I don't know what this is, eyebrow shaver thingy. I don't know, but I have one. And then I'm gonna show you guys, I talked about this in my hygiene video, but I'm gonna show you guys how I actually do my eyebrows. So give me one second. Hey guys, I can, <laughs> I thought I was filming this whole time, but basically what I did was I got my white eyeliner pencil and I drew the shape that I want um, my eyebrows to be. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So all I'm really looking to do is take off a, the excess here and the excess here. I'm fine with what's going on right here. At the beginning of my eyebrows, I just want to take off the top right there and then a little bit at the bottom, and that's it. So, I think I have the shape that I want. Now, I'm going to take this. Here we go. Alright. This eyebrow, done. So now I'm a, I'm gonna take off this stuff. Okay, let's turn it this way now. So I'm gonna take off the white stuff now. I'm gonna get a baby wipe, and I'm just gonna take a little water because these baby wipes aren't super moist. And gonna wipe. Now I'm gonna go in with the alcohol to help me still get some of the white out and to also make sure I don't get bumps around that area. I'm actually gonna do my stash area too. I'm gonna do that now. Ooh, that bones. All right, so as you can see, they're not super perfect, but I'm fine with that. I don't like the look of perfection that's why I'm not the biggest fan of like doing like drawing on the eyebrows and making them square because <laughs> that's just not realistic nobody's eyebrows looks like that I'm gonna show you the second step of what I do which I don't know if I need to do that right now but um I'll go ahead and do it my husband's 
flipper, scissors, thingy, whatever. I have this little pick, so this should be fine. So I'm gonna comb my eyebrows up like that. I'm gonna take the scissors and I'm just gonna go through and snip the hairs that I combed up. Right? And there we go. This is what it looks like when I do my eyebrows. I missed my thick eyebrows already. <laughs> but, I mean, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I am going to do an ice cube on my face just to see if I can get some of this tiredness off of it. I'm going to take this ice cube right here. And I'm just going to go in circles and I got this thing where y'all you know, if I touch anything super cold it like sends shocks up my arm so I'm just hold it in here but I used to do this all the time I don't know why I stopped can y'all see me still oh wow that is good so that's that I'm just gonna pat and now I'm going to just do ooh, my vitamin E oil make sure my eyes clean so my vitamin E oil and then I'm gonna do rosemary because it's supposed to be good for your skin my hand like so just a couple drops because so this rosemary is no joke Rub it together go on my forehead, on my cheeks, my chin. I like to take it down to my neck and usually right across my chest. But now I'm gonna do that now. All right, go for my eyebrows under my eyes. So that's what we got going on. I'm not really sure if that made a difference, but I feel a little bit more put together. I'm mad about this eyebrow though. It's not the way I wanted it, but that's fine. All right guys, so I'm gonna get ready to do this short and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah. I so It's conscious. Whoa, doing 90 on the jet skis. Yeah, we live in. Tell these haters, come and get me. Come and get me. Little mama, you look sexy. And she bad. I wanna f she gon' let me. Let's see. I ain't f they don't tell. Alrighty guys, so I'm about to make some pizza dough because I'm gonna make some pizzas for the kids today as their takeout style meal. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I make my go-to pizza dough. You can make it in a bread maker, you can make it in a food processor, you can eat it by hand. Don't want to knead it by hand. Funny story, the first time I ever attempted to knead bread, I pulled a muscle in my back. <laughs> True story, I swear I'm not making that up. Like, I did. But let's get to this bread. I'm sorry, this pizza recipe. That's me. Don't touch me. Ice heart Wayne Gretzky. I stopped. Know what it was when you met me. Yeah, you know that. Just be real, don't upset me. Yo. Don't do that. I ain't got time for the foolery. None of these. Things. Look at her go. Get it, girl. This is a girl yesterday. No, I mean, pasta was the day before yesterday. And then I canned it up yesterday. So it's nice and sealed. Wait, is this one sealed? Yeah. I don't, wait, is it? That one's sealed. They're all sealed. So I'm about to put them in the pantry. I think I showed you guys the pantry the other day. Still looking decent. I got a grocery order and got some stuff. Here we go. So this is really what I wanted. I wanted to have backup of a lot of my commonly used products. 
So at the top I have salsa that I made. I canned, I made it and canned it. I need to take the rings off of those. I had some pasta sauce that I had in my stockpile. I just took it out and then put the pasta sauce that I bought back there. So I have those and I'm about to add the ones that I just made. And that's about it. The girl's looking crazy, but I'm a black woman. This is, look, this is natural, okay? And I ain't washed my hair yet. And I'm not going to until next week. Yo, my one, um, my one fear is to be on camera with buggers in my nose. Ooh, I hate buggers, it's disgusting. show is about giving flowers i'm sorry i have a what is this air purifier going still in the house so excuse that noise but aren't they pretty it's tulips in the middle and then daisies around they are so gorgeous i just love the different colors i'm thinking about planting some just regular flowers in the backyard we get a little bit warmer because I just want to be able to go out and pick flowers because flowers are expensive. So I just think these are so beautiful. And that was my week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you give yourself some flowers this week, guys. I appreciate you and I will talk to you later. Shalom. Looking for something to make